Good evening, my fellow Americans. The voices you hear in this video are not the real voices of these individuals. All voices have been AI generated and are strictly for entertainment purposes. Things get a little crazy and heated between us, so viewer discretion is advised. This video also in no way is meant to reflect any political views of mine or anyone else. Thank you for watching, and uh, who's ready to smack some balls? Remember when I said I'm never doing eight people ever again? Yes, we remember. Well, unfortunately, it looks like... I'm fucking back, bitches. Feel the burn. 2.0, baby. They misunderestimated me, but I'm back. Uh, not sure I'm comfortable being back, but here I am. Oh, good golly. It's Brett. How are you today, sunshine? Sunshine? Who the fuck still calls people sunshine? I call all the boys and girls my little sunshines. Oh, fucking yuck. Listen, Donnie, as a womanizer myself, I can confirm that all the ladies love the beautiful names I give them. Mm. Ain't that right, sunshine? Bill, please don't ever flirt with me. Correction, please don't flirt with any woman ever again. Playing hard to get, huh? Well, Brett, nothing gets me more hard. Oh, fucking right. In what fucking direction was that going? So as you all know... Please don't tell us you're, you're running for a third term. No, George, that isn't a thing. It isn't, huh? No, you can only serve two. Huh, that's news to me. I thought you could only serve one. You're literally running again? Running from who? President. Why would I run from the president? Wait, aren't I the president? Oh my God. If you want to call yourself that. Brett, want to be my VP? You already served two terms. But George just said you get three. No, I thought it was three. It's two guys, are you kidding me? How the hell would you know? Couldn't even win a primary. Senator! And you couldn't even beat an idiot, criminal. Let's just say, hypothetically, Fucking hell, ben. for the sake of the argument that you could run for a third term, would that really be- Can everyone shut the fuck up? Sorry, daddy. Brett, can I be your- Bill, you're on really thin fucking ice right now. In fact, it's cracking. One more suggestive statement from you and you're gone, understood? Fine, I don't need any of you. Come on, Brett, we're leaving. I'm good right here. No, you're staying and you're, you're gonna behave yourself, got it? And what if I don't behave? You gonna spank me? What the actual hell is wrong with you? We are gonna do a home run derby today using the same players from the actual derby this year. You guys can pick which one you would like to use. I call Bibby Watt! Fuck, Joe, my fucking ears. Most energy you've shown in 20 years. Bobby Witt wasn't in the Derby this year, Joe. Don't care. Didn't ask. I'm picking him. Joe, you're using the eight players from the actual Derby. I'm sorry, the what now? I think he said Derby. What the hell is a Derby? Sounds like a Wish.com version of a Barbie. Derby guys, fucking Derby. The Kentucky Derby. I'm done. All right, later, Snowflake. Barry, come back. Uh, guys, really? Well, Brett... Looks like Barry can no longer prevent our love for each other. Ugh, I'm gonna go find Barry. I'll come with you, sunshine. Bill, sit your fucking ass down and behave yourself. Listen, Senator, you got no power over me. I was a fucking president. No, you're a fucking child. Hold up, where's the child? I think everyone is getting a little overexcited. All right, let's do a draft to determine who gets to play as who. Well, considering Joe is likely to lead us into World War III, I say this is great practice. Donald, I am incredibly surprised you were not the one to hold that title. There's still time. All right, so I actually used a random list generator to determine the draft order. Barry was actually first, so he can go whenever he gets back. So, Brett, you're next. She went to find Barry. Oh, that's right. I'll go find her. Uh, sit down, Bill. Donald, you're next. Give me Pete Alonso. Makes sense. What do you mean? He's a fake tough guy, just like you. Oh, really? Want to come face to face with the belt again? No, Donald. No, no, no. All right, Joe, you go. Bibby what? He's not an option, Joe. But I want him. Pick anyone on the screen but Alonzo. Can I see the controller real quick? I mean, I guess. Thanks. Okay, I'm good now. Fuck, Joe. You ruined the whole bracket. No, I made it better. You lost your pick? You can get whoever isn't picked. <sighs> Whatever, little Benjamin. George, you're up. Adalis Garcia on my Texas Rangers. But I used to own the Rangers, you know. No shit, really? George, with this fake fucking news again, he owned like 2% of the team. And I own you, Donald. Joe, I live rent-free in your hollow-ass head and you know it. Okay, how about you, Bill? What are the categories? What? It's a home run derby, dumb fuck. Oh, okay, give me home run derby for 600. No, pick a player, Bill. All right, Barry and I are back. He was on the phone with Michelle. Oh, Brett is back. I'll play with her. Pardon? I don't know what you did wrong, but I pardon you, Brett. Oh, welcome back, Barry. Are we done moping? Uh-huh. Barry, you can pick. You actually were first, but you weren't here. I'll take Lou Bob. 
Ugh, I wanted him. Tough shit. Okay, Brett, how about you? Wait, I thought it was my turn. Um, I'll take Julio. Now you can go, Bill. All right, have a good night, everybody. Go ahead and pick a player on the screen, dummy. I'll take Randy or Rosarina. He used to be on my Redbirds. Okay, my turn now. I'll take Mookie, the best leadoff hitter in baseball. Here goes Ben with his shitty analytics. Bernie, how about you? Give me Vladdy Jr. All right, Joe, since you were unable to give me an eligible player, you'll take Adley. No, thanks. Tough, he's the only one there. To make it fast-paced, since there's eight of us, we are going to do one-minute rounds with no timeout. All right, let's go. Brett, I'm telling you, once you take a chance with Wild Willie, you- Joe, are you fucking kidding me? What? We told you to stick with the true home run derby players. What do you mean? You, you picked Bobby Witt. Yeah, draft dodger. Shoe dodger. You made the bracket, little Benjamin. Not my fault you screwed the pooch. Yeah, his power is probably like 11. Who cares? Yeah, I'm not worried. Well, I didn't know he was throwing eight miles an hour. Well, he actually put one over the fence. You guys just wait. Bibby Watt will blow all of you away with his underrated power. Huh, okay. Fail. You're a fail. Joe, you have two, well, now three home runs. I, I wouldn't get too confident. Shut up, Bernie. At least I'm not impersonating the real Bernie. What? You know how people impersonate us on Saturday Night Live, Bernie? I do, yes. Well, you sound like the second string Bernie Sanders impressionist for the main impressionist. And even the main guy sounds nothing like you. Hi, hello, hey, it's my turn now. Okay, do you need all of us to watch and cheer you on? You better believe I'll cheer you on, Brett. Jeez, Bill. Barry, if you fail to beat Joe here with Luis Robert, we're gonna have some issues. Like hypothetical issues or the real deal, Ben, the world needs to know? Wow, he actually put one over the fence. Shut it, Joe, couldn't even follow basic instructions. What instructions? I followed step for step how to put together this entertainment center from Ikea we are playing on. The instruction to pick one of the only eight players you were supposed to pick. No, fuck you, Joe. Bibby Watt advances to the next round. Why do you call him Bibby Watt? No one knows, Brett. But good job, Barry. How's it feel to lose to a cheater? Sucks, doesn't it? All right, so now Bill and George will face off. Here we go, Brett. Every home run I hit, I dedicate to you. Hey. Bill, would you fucking leave her alone? Please stop yelling at me. Up, oh, that's one, honey. Barely. Hey, Joe, who do you want to take on in the next round? Your mom. That's two for Brett. Answer the question, Joe. It doesn't matter. No one stands a chance against Bibby Watt. Just like George doesn't stand a chance against me. You just wait, Bill. I'm hitting fucking piss missiles, concussing all the fans in the upper deck. Randy may be the one to watch. Come on, Dill Pickle, throw the damn ball. Just like Donald's chances in 2024, this one is long gone. Oh, cute. Well, just like your chances with Brett, not even close. Well, I have now seven dingers for Brett, Donald. You're getting scared, George. Of what, Bill? Nah, only person that should be scared of Bill is Brett. You're just jealous you can't drop nine nukes for your lady. Well, George may not have dropped nukes, but he sure as hell dropped some. Donald. All right, George, can't wait to see you. Hey, Bill, shut up. Now watch this drive. Uh, I think the ball has to go over the fence. You tell him, sunshine. Bill, fucking fuck off. Whoa, now, not very polite for a politician, are you? Please, you're all fake as fuck. The hell you mean? I tell it like it is. You tell a little more than it is. Too much more. Guys, please, I'm trying to watch Bush come through clutch. Six more in 20 seconds ain't happening. Never say never, Brett. Bro, you're finished. It's over. Wish I could say the same about your podcast. Come on, please hit 440. Oh, nice job there, poo-poo head. Shitty game. Let me know when we hit the fairway again. All right, Joe and Bill are through to the semis. Let's see how Bernie and Ben do. Best of luck, Bernie. Shut up, Ben, you whiny piece of shit. All righty, then. Ball's got to leave the yard, Bernie. Oh, you think so? shabooby dooby schmooby. Damn, Bernie, you're raking. It was one home run. Calm down, Bill. Huh. What? I'm stumped on this riddle in my puzzle book. A puzzle book? People still buy those? I, I know, right. What a loser. Bill, you literally have a stack of them toppling over on the back of your fucking toilet. Why were you in his bathroom? To fucking use it? What kind of stupid question is that, Donald? What is the riddle, George? A cowboy rides into town on Friday, stays in town for three days, then leaves on Friday. How did he do it? Oh, wow. That's tough. Seriously? You guys don't know this? Time travel. It's the only logical explanation. I don't think that's the answer. All right, everyone needs to find out everything about this town he is in. I want demographics, famous landmarks. Is it a blue state or red state? We need answers. You're overthinking it. 
What's the time zone in the town? What good is that going to do you? Well, if it's Australia, it could be hours ahead, so it may already be Friday then. What? They're hours ahead, not fucking days ahead. That makes no sense at all. So let's just say, hypothetically, oh, here we for the sake go. of the argument, that Australia's time zone was days ahead somehow rather than hours. How would that affect where he was the first Friday? Did he just suddenly switch time zones and move countries on Sunday or something? I don't know, but you fucking lost. Bernie, I'm more invested in this now, to be honest. All right, Brett versus Donald. Brett, you're up first. Good luck, queen. Uh, focus on the riddle and let me focus, please. All right, I'm sticking with my answer, but collaborating with Joe. So I'm going with different time zones and time travel. Yeah, uh, that's not it. Uh, how do you know? Is the answer going to be some kind of controversy or even a conspiracy theory? Why the hell would it be either of those two things? Believe me, people make conspiracy theories over anything. I would know. Believe me, ain't any of that shit conspiracy theories. Donald, please don't start. I got it. It's a leap year. Huh? Damn, I suck. Four home runs, really? A leap year shortens the week, so that must be the answer. Bill, a leap year adds a day in February. It doesn't shorten anything. Yes, it adds an extra Friday in place of the Monday. What? Shut up, losers. Time for me to absolutely demolish Brett. With love, of course. Balls gotta be fair, Donald. <laughs> you said balls. How are you even married? How are you not beautiful? Leave my queen alone, Bill. Or what? You gonna steal my documents? I just might. <laughs> Shut up, cheater. Another shade of orange is added to Donald's face for every foul ball he hits. You're all just jealous. Your skin isn't as beautiful as mine. I don't know. I saw that video of you golfing. Wasn't sure if that was you or Casper, the friendly ghost. Oh, shit. Who let my girl cook? Are we going to ignore the fact he's only at four homers? Well, maybe if he wasn't fucking lobbing it, game over. Sorry, Brett. Well, it was a good run. No offense to Brett, but you should have absolutely obliterated J-Rod with Alonzo Donald. I'd, I'd still say that was an L, even though you won. All right, Joe and Bill are up. Still waiting on the answer to my riddle. So it's either time travel, different time zones, or a leap year. No, it isn't. Are we set on this town being in Australia? Maybe it's one of those trick questions where there isn't even an answer. Oh, true. We like, it's just supposed to drive you insane. Is it insanity, George? Uh, no. What are the options, like A, B, C, or D? When in doubt, pick C. Joe, students probably watch this. Don't be giving bullshit test tactics. Oh, shit, I got it. You did? Maybe. Uh, George, what type of calendar is it? Is it the Roman calendar, lunar calendar, Maya calendar? Well, what year is this set in? Because the Maya calendar ended in 2012. Remember that whole thing? Well, he's a cowboy, so I would think this is well before Oof. 2012. The Maya calendar ending then was fake, though, wasn't it? Damn it. Can we continue this after my turn, please? No, you guys did it during mine. I'm trying to hit dingers for Brett. It's fine, Bill. You're doing great. Oh, see that? Just needed a little confidence boost from you, Brett. Ooh, I take it back. No, I'm slumping now. Uh, you guys are really overthinking this riddle, by the way. Give us a hint, then. I don't know. It's kind of amusing how far-fetched your guesses have been. Not as amusing as watching Bill lose because he underestimated Bibby Watt's true power. You only hit four home runs, you scrub. And you only hit two. Now, what's the answer to my damn riddle? Hold on. What's the cowboy's name? That's irrelevant. It's Brett. Okay, the cowboy's name is Brett. So what is the horse's name? Uh, it's Bill. <laughs> Bill, would you read the fucking room? You're making everyone uncomfortable. The answer is Friday. Jeez, you guys are fucking stupid. No shit, it's Friday. We're trying to figure out how in the world it's Friday. Friday by Rebecca Black. The song? Uh, they tried to trick us by making a song the answer. No, think about it. He rides into town on Friday. We gathered that. And he leaves on Friday. We know the question, Brett. That's what we've been trying to fucking figure out. He rides on Friday. Yes, we know that. And he leaves on Friday. The three days is the kicker, though, Brett. Beat that, Donald. Six dingers, that's light work. Make sure to hit it fair. So the answer is just Friday, that makes no sense. The horse, guys, the fucking horse's name is Friday. Ooh, that's kind of lame. Yep, that's it. That's what it says the answer is in the back of the book. Told you guys you were all overthinking it. Well, that was a dumbass riddle. Anyway, Donald may as well give up. Three home runs in less than 20 seconds isn't happening. Oh, yeah. Well, I got my bonus time, so bite me. Yeah, you're screwed now, Bernie. George, give me another riddle. What has a head and a tail, but no. No more. Please, for my sanity. You're no fun, Ben. Hey, why does he get 30 more seconds? If you hit two home runs over 440 feet, you get bonus time. Wow. Fuck you, Ben. For what? Just for being you. Game over, Bernie. Oh, yeah? Shit. Come on, dumb fuck. Throw the damn ball. 
No! Out. That's the way to end it. Nothing is ended. We still have to play the finals. Finals will be a walk in the park. Pete Alonso against a, a pipsqueak. What the hell did you say? You heard me. Ha ha ha. Okay, you'll regret that. Not looking too regretful for Donald so far. He's just warming up. See? Oh, I think I got it. The horse's name was Friday. Bill, we already established that like five minutes ago. You did? Yes. Are you even aware of your surroundings? Are you even aware that Bibby Watt is crushing it right now? I mean, the home run derby had its upsets, don't get me wrong, but Bobby Witt isn't beating Pete Alonso. Who won the actual home run derby, like the, the real life one. Vladdy Jr.? Fuck! I failed to repeat history. Four dingers. Beat that, Donald. Please, Pete can beat that in one swing. Strike one. Technically, he can't beat it in one swing. The most home runs you can get in one swing is, Strike well, two. one. Ben, you're fucking me up. Would you shut your ass up? Staying alive on the 0-2 count. Hey, you hit one out. It's only four he needs to win if he doesn't at least tie Joe. It would be sad. Too many foul balls. Fuck off. Look at the bright side, Donald. At least you took Alonzo further virtually. Bro wasted all his energy in the batting cage right before his turn. I'm winning this. Just you all watch. Doubtful. Well, that's out. Two home runs in nine seconds isn't totally impossible. Uh-oh, we're all tied up. Fucking land and throw the ball. What happened? Did I win? No, it goes to a tiebreaker. You each get another minute. Jeez, would this just end? Kablamo. That's one over 440, Joe. One more and you get bonus time. There's no bonus time in the tiebreaker. Malarkey, but it's fine. He won't need it. Man, Joe is hitting everything out. You getting nervous, Donald? My guy has won two home run derbies. Joe's guy had one shit. He won my heart. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Over Jill. Who? Wit hasn't even gotten an out yet. Well, it's timed now, so technically there are no outs. Shut up, Ben. You know what I meant. Did Joe just- Hit every ball out? You're damn right I fucking did. Ooh, Donnie, that's gonna be tough. The hell it will, I'm Donald Trump. Nothing is too tough for me. Except for, let's see, uh, owning casinos? Returning documents. Winning a second term. Not getting impeached. Owning a nice country club. Beating a scrub in a home run derby. Don't forget just being a nice person in general. First off, and I'm a businessman, Joe. I get along with everybody. I made millions off my casinos. Joe and Barry stole documents too. My country clubs are luxurious and Joe cheated in this fucking home run derby just like he did in 2020. Cheated or not, you lost to Joe twice now. Fucking hell. Bibby Watt did it, everybody. He's your home run derby champ. Joe, you fucking cheated again and picked someone you weren't supposed to fucking pick. I agree, Donald. Joe, you cheated. Just like he did in fucking golf, this is what he fucking does. Yeah, well, Adley would have been better, Donald. So if anything, this is more embarrassing for you. Joe, he had more of a challenge. Oh, sure, defend the corrupt per usual, George. All right, well, Brett and I better be going. You ready to go, sunshine? I'm driving myself home, alone, thank you very much. Bill, grab your keys and drive me home. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our car channel. Bye, kitten.